every week we're going to highlight somebody new around Lake of the Ozarks as cool. our weekly hometown heroes. Excellent. We've partnered with the good folks over at Central Ozarks Medical Center, and we know they've got tons going on. They just are launching that clinic that opens this upcoming month in Lori. Uh, they're inside the schools. They're in Richland. They're here in Osage Beach, Camdenton. They've got everything from dental, behavioral health, OBGYN, sports medicine. I mean, they really are becoming the medical providers for Lake of the Ozarks, and they wanted to celebrate different people that make the lake what it is, and that's the, the people down here. And so we're excited to announce our first ever hometown hero is our good buddy Matt Sutcliffe mm. from Bear Bottom Resort. Of course, I reached out and I got stories from Darren Keim and Tom Abbott and Mary Kay Von Brendel and his daughter Kenzie. And, you know, Matt and his wife Missy, they own Bear Bottom Resort and the RV park, but they also own Premier Pyrotechnic Firework Company, and yep. they do fireworks all over the lake and all over. And what's crazy is everybody you talk to about Matt talks about the way he serves others. As yep. busy as he is, as much as he has going on with the resort, the businesses, it's all about other people. Yeah, you know, we, we went to the uh, Lake West Chamber dinner, mm -hmm. and Matt was kind of a host there, so he's a funny guy too. Hilar I mean, he is so witty and yeah. funny. It was interesting, the stories, all the stories from the chamber people talking about how they, how Matt saved their rears, you know, several times in times of crisis, you know. So he just has that selflessness where he's willing to step up and, you know, jump in the breach when things are bad and, and turn things around and make them work. And uh, he's a pretty special guy. Yeah, he is that rotary saying service above self, one profits most who serves best is the epitome of Matt Sutcliffe, even when he was dealing with some serious tragedy in his life that his family endured, he stopped dealing with that so he could go help the chamber pull off an event so Liz Brown wasn't uh, in trouble. And those stories go on and on. Ricky was telling us uh, he had a vehicle breakdown on the way to a rodeo, and Matt was able to help him get him a vehicle to replace it, equipment to replace it, get him to the rodeo on time. Um, and that is just who Matt is. He won Citizen of the Year or Contributor of the Year at that chamber dinner, and we thought it was important to continue to highlight Matt Sutcliffe as our first weekly hometown hero presented by Central Ozarks Medical Center. I mean, and the guy's brilliant. A lot of people don't know this, but he also does large productions. Like he does stuff for the PBR with the rodeo. Do you remember we just celebrated, I think, the 20-year anniversary of Owen Hart's death? Mm -hmm. It was Matt Sutcliffe and his company that were shooting that live pay-per-view broadcast wow. from Kansas City. Um, <laughs> when that happens. So he does so much like that. And during our Spread the Lake with Christmas cheer, guess who's the one who's providing the speakers, the audio equipment, the microphone, brings his family out and spends the whole day going around giving to others. It's Matt Sutcliffe. And we want to tell you guys, it's going to be weekly. And if you're interested in nominating next week or an upcoming week's hometown hero presented by Central Ozarks Medical Center, all you got to do is shoot your recommendation with a short write-up. Tell us why they're deserving to info at mylaketv.com. And uh, we look forward each and every week moving forward here on a cup of coffee uh, of highlighting somebody. And I mean, mm. we got so many people over the next year. Uh, it's going to be hard to only pick 52 more. Absolutely. Or 51 more. Well, and that's great. That's what makes our community so special is that we do have uh, several of these wonderful, fantastic people in the community that make sure things get done. Yeah, no doubt about it, Uncle Chris. And we know of probably 20 just off the top of our head yeah. 